Hello everyone, welcome to Cabo Bayan LA. Can you guess where we're at? Well, for three weeks we've been talking about it, plugging it, inviting you to come with us. Finally, we are here in the beautiful island of Formosa, more popularly known as Taiwan. And this afternoon on the show, we're going to bring you some of the highlights from our first day of t- uh, tour. At makikilala nyo din po kung sino yung ating mga kababayan na nakasama sa atin dito sa ating Lakwacha. But you know what? There are two things that people do in order to travel or when they travel. The first is to tour. Also, another one is to migrate. A lot of people still migrate to the States. Kaya bago ang lahat, pag-usapan po muna natin ang immigration update from our American Dream. So after the immigration update on American Dream, are you ready to explore Taiwan? Well, that comes after we take a break. You're still watching Cabo Bayan LA. Ni hao. We are still here in Taiwan. Thank you for sharing your Monday afternoon with us. And one of the people also who uh, is sh- going to be sharing some of her days with us here in Taiwan is Tita Leti. Hello and welcome to Cabo Bayan LA. Why did you join the tour? Oh, I just came back. It happens that I just came back from a tour, another tour and my friend called me and she asked me if I want to join a tour to Taiwan. Oh, I love it. Ayan, ang sarap ng buhay ni Tita Leti. Pa tour, tour na lang. Tita Leti, what are you looking forward to the most to see here in Taiwan? Oh, I was looking for, because I was here, that was a long time ago. It was 1967. And I want to see how it's changed. That's what I'm looking for. And, and what you see right now, we're here in Tan- Danshui, the old town. What, are, what is your impression of this place? Oh, my God, there's a lot of changes. Uh-huh. A very, very lot of changes. A lot of changes. Yes. And you look like you're enjoying yourself, are you? Oh, yes, I am. And good. We're going to meet uh, some more of our Cabo Bayan sa sumama sa atin dito sa tour. And also know more about Danshui when here on Cabo Bayan LA. But before that, before I left for Taiwan, I also got to interview some of our Cabo Bayan saman making a difference in historic Philippines. Town. Let's watch this. So back here in Taiwan, our first stop is actually the old town of Danshui, and it's not just very beautiful around here, it's also very educational. There's a lot of information, and when you walk through the halls and when you walk through these, um, you will learn more about the rich history of Taiwan, and we'll share that with you, education and entertainment, when we return on Cabo Bay in L.A. Don't go away. It's the first day of our travel to Taiwan Part 2. In just a little while, we're going to give you the sights and sounds from this beautiful island. But before that, let's not forget that May is also Asian Pacific American Heritage Month in the U.S. And that is why not too long ago, there was an event that took place in Beverly Hills, California called Feast for the East. Here's what happened. After talking about it for weeks and inviting viewers to join us on our travel to Taiwan, we finally made it. And our first stop proved to be quite an experience for us. Good thing we bumped into Yi Chao, who gave us an introduction on the old town of Danshui. Right now we're in a local area called Danshui, uh, formerly known as Huwei. Huwei was the name that the original people gave it, and now we call it Danshui. Danshui in Chinese, it means uh, fresh water. The English name right now is called Tan Shui. T-A-M-S-U-I. Danshui River used to be in feet around 45 feet deep. So it was a big commercial river back in the days, um, especially in the Japanese colonial era. It was very important for transportation in and out. So up until it was eroded, it was used a lot for commerce. So Danshui Port, where we're right now, used to be one of the most developed ports in Taiwan. Well, actually, Danshui is now the number one tourist site in Taiwan. The reason might be that this place has the deepest and most varied historical background of any place in Taiwan. It's been through seven countries, Spain, Holland, uh, two dynasties of China, actually the Ming Dynasty, the Qing Dynasty, then the British were here for commerce, the Japanese colonized this place. Then after the Second World War, the Japanese left after they lost the war. So England came back to resume their consulate position over here. Then England decided to recognize the PRC as the only, um, only acceptable government in China. So then they left, at which point they left this whole entire place to New Zealand. New Zealand was here for three months and then they left too, leaving this place to the USA. And then finally the USA had to leave too. He also gave us pointers on what we shouldn't miss. 
So the old street is a little commercial street that sells lots of the local goods, um, some local foods. And then you can reach here within 30 minutes. Then you can start looking at archaeological sites like right here, the Fort Antonio, and then the little white house, then Hobie Fort that was constructed after the Sino-French War. So in Tanshui, at least you have to look at some of the historical sites. And then as far as uh, pretty places, natural places, it's all around us. Yes. And after only half a day here for our first day of travel to Taiwan with a celebrity of LA18 Part 2, we already have a lot of memories from the old town of Dan Shui. And now we're going to ask some of our participants what they thought of the place, what they think of the place, and what their favorite tour was. Let's start with Lady in Yellow. <laughs> I like the Santo Domingo because of the history in it. Oh, I think uh, the British Consulate building is interesting. Yes. I like the waterfront from the Dan Sui. I like the White House because it's clean and beautiful. <laughs> I like everything that we may do, that we can do, because it's a history. Okay. This is a very historical place. We enjoy the air and the view. It's so fantastic. After a long walk, I think I'm ready to eat all this very good food. Uh, yeah, it's quite interesting because this is a place I've never been before. So it's very exciting to see all the places that culture. Um, of course, there are a lot of walking to do, but then again, you know, the area and such is really, really good place to go. I must note that Taiwan cuisine is one of the main attractions here in Taiwan. And if you want to know more, you have to watch out for the succeeding Travel to Taiwan segments here on Kababayan LA. Watch me and the 10 other Kababayans who signed up to travel with me. I guarantee you will enjoy it and learn a lot. You may not have been able to join us on this trip, but don't worry, we'll bring Taiwan straight to you. Until next time.